So you've just seen a circuit race uh, there taking place um, at uh, the Algarve. Um, a selection of cars out there is uh, the, from the GT3 class. This is kind of straightforward, first past the, uh, the finish line. So uh, the, car, the cars you'll see here is uh, kind of the, the top end of the game. These are the real thousand brake horsepower monsters where you really have to, uh, to know your racecraft to, to hold it on track. And uh, you'll also uh, notice that each car performs and handles ever so slightly differently. And we've worked extensively with, with real life race drivers to make sure that we can capture the nuances of, of each individual vehicle. You need to be careful uh, when, when racing these ones. If you, uh, if you try launching cars in at impossible speeds and, uh, and clip all manner of things, then yeah, you can well uh, flip up and, uh, and struggle to get back on, on four wheels and on your lines. So uh, yeah, I'd recommend staying out of trouble, racing clean, and uh, and yeah, making sure that you're not uh, trying to turn in at 220 miles an hour. So you'll notice as you're playing this, things like uh, wheel spin occurring on, on the cars and a loss of traction here and there. Um, and it's something we've, we've pushed further and further from the original grid. And um, our, our guys have worked immensely hard on our, uh, our physics uh, engine and, and the components in that um, to make sure that we can accurately replicate how tyres would perform under wheel spin when traction will come back. Um, and at the same time, we, we feel we've hit a really great balance with our true feel handling system and making the player feel like a hero and always at the centre of the action. We, we've kind of really struck where we wanted to be between arcade and simulation and feel like we, we cater very well for both audiences. Mm -hmm.